All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, we're gonna do an example problem using Poisson's ratio. And in this problem, we're given a steel rod with ha which has modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals, a Poisson's ratio of 0.3 with a diameter D of 15 millimeters. So this is a circular rod. And what we wanna do is with the loading that's gonna be given to us, we wanna determine what the change in diameter of this rod is gonna be. So let me draw for you a schematic of what this looks like first. So this rod has a 15 millimeter diameter. Initial length here before the loading is applied, 200 millimeters. And let's say that we apply whatever the, wherever this thing is, you know, it could be the member of a truss, it could be something, you know, part of something, some sort of tension rod that has so it has 20 kilonewtons applied to it. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and calculate the internal loading so I can calculate the normal stress inside the rod. And you'll notice in all mechanics problems, there is some component of statics involved where you have to calculate internal loading. And that really just means cutting and determining what the internal loads are from the external loading. And using equilibrium equations is a really important part of this. In this case, I just need one cut in this problem. So when I draw the left side of my cut, it looks like this. And on the inside, I'm gonna have only one internal load because I only have axial loading. I have no bending, no shear, no torsion. All I'm gonna have left on the inside is a normal force. And using my equilibrium equations, and really the only one that's applicable here is some of the forces in the horizontal equal to zero, I'll get that the normal force is equal to plus 20 kilonewtons, indicating that I am in tension. And now I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the normal stress associated with this internal load. And that is this normal stress is equal to the internal normal force divided by area, which would be 20 kilonewtons divided by the cross-sectional area of this rod. And you know what? Let me go ahead and draw what this cross-section looks like. Let me see if I can draw a nice circle. Yes! circle. If I want to calculate the stress, I need to divide the normal force by the area. This will give me the normal stress and this will be pi over four times the diameter squared. And I want to work out some numbers. This is 0 0.1132 kilonewtons per millimeter squared, which is a good thing to know because one kilonewton per millimeter squared is equal to one gigapascal. So this is the same as 0.1132 gigapascals. And now, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and combine calculating normal strain as well. And using Hooke's law, arr, I can relate the stress to the strain. Hooke's law, if you remember, was just this normal stress is equal to E times epsilon. And so I can just use the material properties that I have and my normal strain in the direction of the load, which is parallel to the loading, right? This is my longitudinal strain is equal to my normal stress divided by the modulus of elasticity of the steel, which is 0.1132 gigapascals divided by 200 gigapascals. And then I get this oh, a point oh, 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 some crazy small number, point oh, 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 five, six, six millimeters per millimeter. And again, this is my longitudinal strain. And now, now for Poisson's ratio, right? So here, boom, four. We can calculate the lateral strain using Poisson's ratio. And here the relationship is that Poisson's ratio is the negative of the lateral strain divided by the longitudinal strain. And because you know I have a circular cross section, when I elongate or when I when I pull this, the entire cross section is going to shrink like this. And every lateral direction is going to, according to Poisson's ratio, as long as I'm in the linear elastic region, is going to experience the same change or shrinkage in terms of di in diameter. This right here is going to be my final diameter, and I'm going to shrink this amount. This I call like delta over 2. In fact, let me call this delta D. This is that change in diameter over 2. 
A, all right? And this is my original diameter. Since I know this relationship and I know that steel, at least what's given to me is that this Poisson's ratio is 0.3, I can go ahead and calculate my lateral strain and that would tell me that the lateral strain is negative 0.3 times the longitudinal strain, which is 0 0.000566 millimeter per millimeter. And this, when I calculate this, is a, it's a really small number again, negative 0.00. per millimeter. The negative indicates it got shorter, right? The diameter and the lateral, the dimension and the lateral dimension got shorter right here. And, oh shoot, why don't I just go ahead and calculate the change in diameter here. And the definition of the lateral strain is equal to the change in diameter divided by the original diameter. So here, this is, and this strain is negative 0.000, .000 and that means the change in diameter is equal to times 15 millimeters. And this is negative 0.002547 millimeters. So that is the change in diameter. And if you want to find what the final diameter of this was, you know, you can, the definition of the change in diameter is the D final, the final diameter minus the original diameter. And so you can use this relationship and just say that DF is equal to delta D plus D zero. And that, you know, if you go ahead and plug and chug into this, you would get, which would tell me that the final diameter is 14.99745 millimeters and this these are what I was looking for. All right, hopefully that was a nice introductory example into using Poisson's ratio. If you have any questions, let me know in comments below. Take it easy, structure. Woo!